Welcome to Channel AMAC, your insight to the Australian visa system. Good day everyone, my name is Gao Yang, your online YouTube visa consultant. Are you interested in migrating to Australia? Why don't you consider to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell on the side. So once we have all the updates and news, you'll be the first one getting all the insight. Alright, uh, today's uh, video, uh, I would like to uh, talk a little bit about the future of Australia and also uh, at the end of this by the end of this video second half should I say uh, we'll talk about the so-called critical technology now I've done an update previously in regards to uh, talking about potential um, technology theft or espionage activities now there is uh, a certain uh, documentation publicly uh, announced um, the immigration or not home affairs website so we'll have a look at that one now uh, the first of all we're talking about the future future of Australia now obviously we have learned through the past few months uh, well, from the later well, last month December of 2023 with the migration strategy plan and also uh, we also learned that the uh, Australian government is looking to cut the net migration numbers so obviously it's not all the good news right uh, but where does it go and how long will it last now first of all uh, a lot of people may think uh, that the uh, those private colleges and vet courses uh, may be back but I think that is the only one thing I can confirm uh, that uh, it won't be back I think the the government is certain uh, they will put all the uh, emphasis and the forces and all the executive powers to get rid of those uh, so-called ghost colleges so all these vo uh, vet uh, private colleges is in the brink of going well way down um, now the other thing in regards to the student international education now i've seen a report uh, not report a news media talking about the uh, the university number is up now pretty pretty obvious because there's no options if you pick those vet courses very highly uh rejection rate so uh international student will have no really no choices to pick a uh, higher education or so bachelor or master courses so obviously the higher education number is a little bit up from where the bottom was a couple months ago now we also not learned uh, globally that the economy of in China is not really good now how would that really affect Australia's future now we need to paint uh, a little bit about the background uh, of Australia now obviously every country requires uh, exports the, the the better export the country is uh, the more earnings that country makes it's, it's the same thing so like you you know setting up a business obviously you don't rely on your internal staff spending but you really rely on your sales that's export right you, the, the more you sell to external parties that can be individual can be commercial can be other businesses then you make more money so you make more profit so it's the same um, you know scenario or analogy for between nations and nations so the more exports that a country does the more money that the more wealth that country will actually accrue simple as that now Australia relies on mining the first the top three exports were all mining so these are uh, including uh, mining and energy so they're including uh, oh, everybody knows about coals you know iron ores and all kind of different minerals and some energy for example uh, hydrogen or the gases okay now the fourth the fourth largest export guess what it's international education so it's one of the pillar of Australia's export that the country depends on now what will happen if they cut the number of international students we don't know now my answer to this is obviously if it is one of the largest pillar of the Australian export economies uh, the cutting 
of the the market or the industry、uh, won't last long, and it cannot sustain for a long term of、uh, net migration or the net international students、um, decreasing trend, because that will really hurt the exports of Australia. Now you may argue.、Uh, But it still has another three pillars, you know, energies and minings. Yes, it does. But guess what's happening、uh, in the in the recent years? If you can see the some, you can search. This is、uh, recent on the February, the Australian Strategic、uh, Policy Institute, which is、uh, a body that provides strategic policy advices to the government of Australia. Now the published list is basically saying, as you read the title, I'm not going to go through the detail because it's too long to read. You may want to do your own、uh, search and have a read individually. It reads that the、uh, as China's housing market、uh, slumps, so you know about the Chinese market now that all the house they they are they are about I don't know, forty million perhaps or one bill four billion houses. I I don't know the numbers, but the market is no good. It's collapsing.、Uh, in fact, they're just using utilizing、uh, a ministerial、um, way to not allowing those、uh, construction giant、uh, to actually file bankruptcies. So, if it's going to be in general normal countries like us,、uh, it should already be bankrupt、uh, month or years ago. Okay. Anyway, as China's housing market slumps, Australia's iron ore budget. Bernard is unlikely to last. Well, it's just pretty obvious. Now you may argue that the、uh, other countries like、um, India or Southeast Asia will require those and or more perhaps not because they they've long term rely on themselves or somewhere else rather than、uh, like how China was、uh, relying on Australia. So I put a doubt on that one there. And there's another news from the Financial Review. You, there's a lot of news out there. You may want to search a similar topic, but you'll see the same thing. So China slow down, no threat. Well, really, no threat to Australia economy. Says so.、Uh, some people say it's bad. Some people reckon it's alright. It's not gonna hurt too much. But you may read more information news out there. So this is from ABC News.、Uh, When was this? Late February. China's economy is un- is unveiling at pace previously thought unimaginable. What does that mean? That's not what everybody planned, and it's actually、uh, is worse than what everybody thought it it should be.、Uh, and wh- where does that lead to Australia? So basically, it's talking about the 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 con- the slowdown. Or the collapse of the economy in China, and how would that affect? What about tourism industry? Same thing as well. Have you seen many tool、uh, Chinese tools? I mean, not backpackers.、Uh, Chinese tourists usually come with the with the two groups because of the、uh, regulation requires. So there's rarely a backpacker individual or couples walking around. But you may. Uh, you used to seeing those group tours.、Uh, have you seen them anymore? Perhaps not, because the Chinese tourism to Australia is still in doldrum after pandemic travel ban. Because the economy is bad, no one's wanted to spend money to travel overseas anymore. So this is also costing、uh, dearly as well、uh, towards what the.、Um, Uh, the mark、uh, have an effect on the market of Australia. So again,、uh, we're talking about the four pillar, the mining. Now we're adding another one, tourism, perhaps. But tourism does attract a, a, a lot of other countries. But the other three, the mining and energy, that used to rely on China a lot, you're gonna lose a lot. Now talking about if they're gonna cut another international education. And that's why I predict that the cutting of student numbers, international student numbers, won't last. However,、uh, the killing of those ghost colleges will continue. That means numbers of international students going into the higher education will rise, and that won't last long because, from what we see nowadays with the global economy, that affecting Australia. I don't think Australia can last long by 
having those policies to continue disadvantage all the international student applications. Now, the other one I also wanted to show you is uh, recently that the uh, Australian Computer Society uh, decided to post a news article on the Western Australian uh, newspapers. So basically, it's talking about Australian tech success needs skill migration and not gig economy type as you can see this is down uh, from the 7th of march that's very recent today is only the 9th or two days ago as you can see uh what's the problem there now if they continue to cut the migration number the industry starts to suffer now uh that's that's not that's not magical that it's no conspiracy um it's the fact, you know, I, I've talked about this for a long time uh, as, a, as a large continent and, and na nation in the world with only 25 million. It's just not enough. The skill requires a lot more, especially the Australian want to go into high tech industry. Now, if they don't continue to support the skilled migrant coming in, how can they grow the industry? Right. All right. Now, last but not least, let's go to this uh, published uh, information three days ago critical technology here we go you see the 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 government of australia does have the plan to move ahead uh, or same as all the other advanced uh, countries they wanted to get a glimpse on all the technology as they can do they can they can seek for now previously we have talked about this uh, newly legislated uh public interest criteria 4003b now uh, previously we have learned that's most likely to be uh, put upon the student visas to to stop potential technology theft uh, so there are certain numbers of different category of cri critical technologies so well basically everything that you can think is tech you know biotech agritech any type of tech is all included in there so i'm not going to go into detail there but what i have learned is that the uh, from first april so a couple of days later uh this will be implemented not just on the student visa but as you can see it's going to be on all, all type of working visa employment nomination 1a6 regional sponsoring migration 1a7 skill independent 1a9 global talent 85a permanent resident 191 temporary work 400 training 407 temporary activity 408 recognized skill graduate 476 temporary skill shortage 482 temporary graduate 485 and skill employment sponsor regional 494 so that basically will have its force and condition on all type of visa uh, including student visa and student guardian and all those type of working visas that's uh, including permanent and temporary so uh, as you can see that the how uh, the well what I see in the big picture is the the, the tech war between the the global giants as you can you may notice uh, which are the countries has affect uh, Australia to actually enforce regulations to prevent particularly in the technology sector and they call it critical technology uh, so as that trend continue to grow uh, it, it's it's a way to cut numbers of other uh, visa holders potentially now we have already seen some news going on in United States where uh, there is a Chinese national has been caught uh, at the uh, as an employee of Google, okay, doing something um, that uh, take theft, and also information has been um, captured from the military in uh, from United States anyway. So all this is coming up, uh, and I hope that the uh, there's a lot more information come up for the month of March. Uh, and should you have more question query, more than welcome to leave comment right down below. And I'll see you next video. Goodbye.